Well, we're back. A little hiatus. It's been a few weeks. And it's too much pressure put on ourselves when uh, we've got to do, you know, one of these every week. And yeah. I don't know what the hell to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. I'll tell you what we're going to talk about. A few things that are on my mind since last time we got together. All right. Number one. I'm not picking any more Cowboys on my fantasy football team. Please don't. Let me down. Please Number don't. two, the Miami Dolphins Ooh. are one of the yeah. hottest teams in the NFL. Absolutely. What, three in a row? Four in a row? Four in a row. Got the Giants play, next week. They played pretty good. I've seen some of the games this past, uh, this past week. Man. I don't know where the hell that was. The first nine Who games. Who did you say? They got the Giants? Got the Giants. Uh, I'm a Dolphin fan this week. And then New Orleans. Ooh. That's a seven and seven right there. I think so. Possibly. Then we got, you know, I think the Titans and the Patriots. Uh, the Titans be... are real enough. AJ yeah. Brown's out for a couple of weeks, yeah. right? Derrick Henry, I think he might be done for the I mean, year, maybe the playoffs. Probably. I don't know. I mean, you look at the Dolphins, they're giving up uh, over the last four or five games, 10 points. Yeah. You can win. Points. You could win by accident like that. Absolutely. No doubt. Another, uh, yeah. another thing that I'm really enjoying now this time of the year, it's not the cold, but. It's what comes with the cold this time of year. You know, we're starting to see a lot of nice holiday, rare cigars coming into the shop. You know, so I, I, I get a little bit excited yeah. about that. Yep, just in time, you know, for, I go Christmas shopping for me to me. Well, yeah. You just go through it because you're not seeing them till next December. Nope, all year round I hear from guys, where do you have any on Yeho? Do you have any Opus? Well, when we yeah. have them, they want them. I, you know, well, we're I, telling you. We're telling you now. We're going to be in in the next week or next so. Next week, it's going to be fully loaded. And even if you have too many cigars to begin with, well, we'll stop. No such thing. There's no such thing as too many cigars. I mean, where are you coming from? You're, you're talking silly now. Yeah, too many cigars. That's a good point. Come that's on. a good point. Too yeah. That can't uh, be. You've got to find room. you got to make sure you... Lots of room. Now's the time. Doesn't mean you have to smoke them right away. Right? That's the beautiful thing with the humidor. Keep it for years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and now's the time. Now we're starting to see. I've seen better stuff this year than we were able to see last year. Last couple of years. From what I've seen coming has been slow. so far. It's been slow. But I'm excited about all the all the, the stuff that's been coming in recently. Really nice stuff. Yeah. And what are you smoking? I'm going with you. I've been smoking a lot of this dapper cigar. Um, that's dapper the Madrina. Cigar. That's the, the Madrina, Madrina Shade. Which is a, a new release mm -hmm. by Dapper. Yeah. I'm actually smoking the, the Dapper Union Break. Again, nice, quick, 30 minute cigar. It's got the yeah. barber pole wrap. I mean, you could finish it. I like finishing a cigar. When I start a cigar, yeah, I, I like really it. getting those, that, that last third of the cigar, yeah. which is the best part of the cigar, in my opinion. And yeah. uh, these Union Breaks. Yeah. I mean, hey, listen, you got more time on your hands? Smoke another one. Let's talk about that, you know, and there's no right or wrong way, in my opinion. I don't care how anybody cuts a cigar, lights a cigar, smokes it. There's no right or wrong. As long as you enjoy how you do that, doesn't matter to me. You know, if you want to punch it, you want to uh, clip it, however, it don't matter to me. And then I know a couple of friends, you know, how they smoke the cigar. So I have a friend that'll smoke a cigar mm -hmm. at night, you know, at his yeah. house. And then he'll smoke another cigar, but only halfway leave it in the ashtray. The next day when he starts, he finishes that half and then a full one and leaves that half always for the next day. On purpose. On purpose. Like routine. Routine. Yeah. routine. He loves how that second half the next day tastes after the relight. I don't. I don't like it either. I don't like it. But I he can't. does. So I can't yeah, do it. He's saying it's, it's just what his taste, but he does that on purpose. Wow. He leaves it there to start the next day. That's what he starts with. And then he goes to another one. Well, that's it. That's, that's different. That's different, but hey, to each his own. Well, how about, you know, I, I, I know. And also, also, another friend of, you have two friends. Two, can you believe it? <laughs> Might be the same one. So <laughs> yeah, let's not name names then. Right, or how about the, you know, the guys that don't, don't smoke anything. Like, don't even. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter. Smoke. David White's anything he smokes. Are they smoking to the smoke? Or are they smoking for the enjoyment of smoking? I, I don't know that answer, but. I have a couple, like, you know, come on, you want to smoke? What do you want? I don't care, whatever, it don't matter. <laughs> they smoke it. Yeah, I mean, you know, if somebody's going to offer me a cigar, I'm not going to be too picky. But I'd like to hear the options. Right. 
Because at times, you know, they'll call me and I'll just send them cigars. And I said, what do you want? If you're not, just pick me 20, whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> See, I couldn't do that. I like, no. Oh, I'm all about trying some new stuff, yeah. different things yeah. that come in. But I'm going to but my I like four the education or five. process on the way leading up to what I'm smoking. But I'm going to my four or five that I know what the flavor I'm getting. You know, and on that same topic, I see a lot of times here in the lounge where on a regular basis, guys will smoke a Churchill or a Gordo, but only smoke half of it. On a regular basis, <coughs> like day in and day out. I don't like the last, they don't like the taste. On maybe, the it, maybe, it, maybe they're a quick smoker, you know, where that last end starts to get harsh or, or whatever, but you know, smoke a Robusto instead of the Churchill. Yeah, but still, Robusto is a different flavor to me. It is. A Churchill. I guess that does, blend, you know, the I mean, size is that makes sense if you like the way the Churchill smokes. Smoke the Churchill, no matter how much of it you can finish. Right. Yeah, I mean it because it is going to burn different. It's going to taste different. See, I don't like smoking anything in a robusto size. Really? It's not my taste. I, I don't like the I don't like the taste of it. Yeah. On anything. I, I'd rather, like you said, I'd rather have a Toro, maybe a Churchill. Yeah. So if I don't have a lot of time, I'll still smoke no. that, but I won't smoke it all. There's certain robustos that I will smoke versus other ones. And it's because not all Robustos are going to be the exact same size. Sometimes they're a smaller ring gauge or, you know, some are five, some are five and a half. Yeah. But some are 48, some are 50. No, not you Robusto. Know, certain ones I can smoke. Certain brands okay. I'll smoke a certain size. And it's not the same to every brand. You know, like a Liga Bravada, I like a Viva Corona. Mm -hmm. You know, but like the Underground 10, I like the Toro. Right. You know, I, I don't know. It's It's... I guess it's, it's just, yeah, it's how the blend, I enjoy the blend. That's yeah. like, I won't smoke a lot of uh, pyramid torpedoes. I don't like, I don't like, again, I don't get enough surface draw on it. Even if you yeah. cut it on a on the angle, angle, still not, I still doesn't like, do I don't it. like the way it sits in yeah. my mouth then and you the start flavor. To, you get that little build up and, and it starts to get harsh a lot sooner. But why are they, well, I know why they, they're probably usually out of a line, the most pricey sides. Yeah. But I guess it's just the way they roll it. It, it takes a skilled roller, and it's and it's a different type of different thing. Because type of thing. Yeah, all the cool. other cigars, you're really not finishing the end; mm -hmm. you're just capping it, right? Yep. So this, you actually have to finish it, you know, with the wrapper that you started with. You know, you're not yeah. adding to it, so it, it takes a little bit more skill. Yeah. You know, I mean, and I've seen some incredible, you know, torpedoes. Like, like you look at like a Perdomo torpedo. That thing, the end of it is probably about an inch and a half. So I mean, and it's, it's a, it's a, yeah. Yeah. But they I mean, they're rolled really nice. Yeah. Got any predictions for uh rest of the NFL season? I think the well, Patriots are looking good. Yeah, I, I was just going to say. <laughs> I, as much as it pains me to say that. Whether you like Belichick or not, got to give the man credit where he's doing. He's got a rookie quarterback. Yeah. Not even a... Top number one overall, just a good quarterback player coming out of Alabama, right? Yeah. Jack Jones? Yeah. No big hype with him coming out. Late first nope. round pick. But they're playing well. I mean, they're. they're they they really well. are. I mean, they're playing team football. You and know, of course, they're... you always got, you know, I'm always, always weary, you know, Green Bay. They know how to win. Yeah. Uh, the Rams are kind of crumbling a little bit now. They're taking a step back. Yeah. My Cowboys are at that point. They're two good games, one shitty game. Yeah. They've been going through a lot, though, injury-wise, In COVID-wise, yeah. coaching staff-wise. Yeah, I mean, that makes a still, big difference. They're playing up and yeah. down. So Hopefully they, they get back. that out of their system now they're rather gonna, than later on and maybe get a little bit of that mo coming but back. But Green Bay's a little scared just because of Rodgers yeah. and the rest of the team, Devontae Adams. Yep. They know how to win. They're scary. You know, don't count out the Saints, even though they have no quarterback, but Sean Payton, I think, is a great coach. Yeah. He might know how to win a game. Of course, you've still got Pep, although they seem a little more beatable now, right? They, well, they seem like... At home, they're untouchable. On the road, anybody's game. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's 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 that home field advantage. And don't forget, last year with Brady, all the games they played didn't have fans, so he didn't have to worry about all the surrounding yeah, yeah, sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, changing the play at the line. Everybody yeah. knew what was going on. A little bit different now. Yeah, a little bit different. No doubt about it. Yeah. I didn't think about that, but I think they're the teams, and you know, you never know because all you got to do is get in the playoffs. 
Doesn't matter how you do it. <coughs> yeah. Once you're in, anything can happen. You're in. Anybody's game. It'll be interesting to see. Pittsburgh coming after this past week, boy. Oh, boy. They took it right on the chin. That's because I had Najee Harris. <laughs> he kicks at everybody. Man. I don't know if it's me or if it's them. I'm starting to believe it's me. Yeah, you're jinxing I, it. I can't believe it. That's like in my fantasy game. I don't pick no Cowboys no more. Because when I do, they friggin' crap out. When I don't, they'll score 40 yeah. points. That's usually that. the way it goes. Yeah. Usually, I'm like one week ahead of the guy that scored 40, 50 points. Like I had Najee Harris, he got me like six points. He had like seven and a half yards rushing. Yep. They predicted him to go over 150 with two touchdowns because yep. Roethlisberger's not throwing the ball. Yep, nothing. Right, next week, uh, 60 points. Probably have seven touchdowns. You can't yep. stop him. Yep. But I don't know, I take it personal sometimes. I'm, he's, he's done to me. Yeah. Done. I wouldn't pick him no more. No more. That's why I'm with Kaseki from the Dolphins' as tight end. He gets a couple of good games and he disappears. I, yep, he disappears. He burned me a couple of weeks. Yeah. Well. So that's our talk for this week. Christmas shop, and don't forget to buy something for yourself. And you can put it under the tree. Just mark it from Santa. That's Nobody has it. to know how it got there. That's it. This way you don't even get in trouble. No. Nope. Santa even Claus brought it. Yeah. Because now's the time for... That's the best time of year. From you to you. From Santa Claus. Pick up those, those special cigars that you've been asking for all year long. Absolutely. And they're going to, you know... Hopefully, hopefully they'll stick around a little bit. Yeah. But now, now's now's your chance. You've been warned. You've been warned. See you guys next Until time. Next time.